Welcome to Unix Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to see how we are going to write a shell script. The first shell script. A shell script is a set of commands that are executed as a single unit. What is a, what is a shell script? Shell script is nothing but set of commands. Up to now, we execute many commands individually in shell. Now, the shell scripting is nothing but you can give these set of commands as a single unit. A shell script includes commands for selective execution that means if else and commands for I by O operations that means so print and read. The commands for repeated execution means while, until, for and shell variables. The shell script contains the commands related to selective execution or the commands related to IBM operations and the commands related to repeated execution and shell variables. Now we see the steps we are going to follow to write a shell script. Steps to write and execute script. So what is the first step? Open the terminal. Go to the directory where you want to create script. Second step. Create a script with .sh extension. Third step. Write the script in the file using an editor. So fourth step. Make the script executable with a command chmod plus x file name. The fifth step. Run the script using dot slash file name. Okay. Now we can see all these steps. What is the first step? Open the terminal and go to the directory you want to create script. For example, this is the shell. In this, so I want to create the script on desktop. Then I can write cd desktop. Now, my present working directory is changed to desktop. Now, the second step is create a script using dot sh extension. Now, I create the file using uh, by using the touch command. The touch first dot sh. Now, the file is created on desktop. Third step, write the script in the file using an editor. Now, you move to the desktop. There is a file created first.sh. You can open that. That is an editor. Now, the file is open. And you can open this file with vi editor also. In this, you are going to write the program. For example, I want to print echo hello world. Hello world. On the second line, I write I want to print CRR CSC. Now, I save this file. There is a save button. You can save that. The fourth step is make the script executable. So when you create this file, the user have so read and write permissions only. They don't have execution permission. So, so first you are going to grant the execution permission by using chmod plus x. So what is the file name? First.sh. First.sh. That's it. Now the execution permission is granted to this first.sh. Now what is the last step? Run the file. Run the script using dot real dot slash. What is the file name? First dot sh. That's it. Now another way is so when you are creating this file, after what is the file name? First dot sh. You directly execute like this sh first dot sh. Okay. In this way also you are going to execute. We can see this process practical. So now we are going to see how to create shell script. The first step is open the terminal and go to the directory where you want to create script. For example, I want to create the script on my desktop. So I move to desktop. Okay. Second step, create a script with .sh extension. So for example, I create by using the touch command. My file name is first.sh. First.sh. Okay. So now I move to the desktop. I see the first. 
So this is the first dot sh. And we can write the instructions. Say echo hello world. I can write echo CRR CSC and I save. Now I am going to execute this file by using sh command sh first dot sh. Okay, you can execute the file by using dot slash file name first dot sh. So now we get the permission denied. So our fourth step is you are going to grant the execution permission. How chmod plus x first dot sh. Now we can execute dot slash first dot sh. Okay, 